Hey guys, welcome to Euro 2020 GeoGuessr edition. This is a tournament I am competing in on the Geo Challenges subreddit run by Topotic, and it's basically a uh, GeoGuessr tournament replicating the current football Euro 2020 tournament that's uh, going on at the moment. So um, I will be representing Austria, so I am in Group C, and as you can see, um, all of the groups and all of the countries are exactly the same as in the uh, football Euro 2020. So um, I think around half or maybe just over half of these players are actually from their own country. Um, I'm not really from Austria, but I happen to be born there. So that's why I um, chose to represent Austria. So uh, yeah, it should be interesting. And I think the uh, knockout stage works in exactly the same way as in the football where the top two or three players from each team uh, make it through to the knockouts. So the group stage will be played as a two challenge which means zooming, rotating and moving around. So um, this is going to be interesting because I haven't played um, that many moving games lately. I am very much a, uh, I'm mostly a no move and NMPZ kind of player but um, so it's going to be interesting to see how I do in this. I'll be playing against Maguron for the first game, who is representing North Macedonia, so... Um, should be an interesting game. Um, I know North Macedonia just got knocked out of the football, but uh, Maguron is a very good player, so... Um, I can see North Macedonia maybe doing well in this GeoGuessr tournament, so... So I think North Macedonia will be a lot stronger in this GeoGuessr tournament, but um, let's see. Um, also in my group is It's Rip XD and M the Baseman. It's Rip XD I have never seen play. Uh, M the Baseman I have met previously in a Reddit tournament, um, and he's a very good player, so that's also um, likely to be a tough match. And there are some very good players in the other seeds as well. We've got Granis for Slovakia, uh, Giovanni, a very good player, Simi. Um, a very good player as well among others other names i recognize as well so um yeah gonna be a lot of fun so uh the and it is run by topotic so uh thank you topotic for setting this up and i'm really looking forward to it so let's see how the first game goes gonna be tough especially because i'm not used to moving games so yeah basically if you're within 100 points then of your opponent then that's considered a draw so let's see how we get on um, with an arbitrary world. So all of the seeds will be played on an arbitrary or a, I think the knockout stage will be a no moving game so that should be interesting. Um, but yeah let's get started three minutes per round let's go. Okay um, we have Spanish bollards I think. No is this uh, Macedonia? We've got these dots which is found near Kachani, I believe. These, this is like meta. I think we're near. Uh, where is Kachani? I think it's somewhere. Yep, yeah, Kachani. I think there's a road that has this, these blurry black dots. So it's a bit of a meta, meta game here. But um, let's see if we're correct. I think, I think that's where this is. Um. Let's see if we can find any signs to help us pinpoint. Pinpointing is going to be uh, extremely tough, extreme, extremely important, um, and also very tough. Um, I'm not very used to pinpointing, um, but yeah, let's see how we do, if we're going to find any signs. A village sign would be nice, because I think we already know the uh, general area. Um, let's see, do we have anything coming up here? We're at a town. Okay, so we've got um, Mitrishinti, Mitrishinti is very close, it's one uh, kilometre to our south, let's see, then um, Kachani, it might be along this road. Can't see a Mitrishin, oh, Mitra, we've got a Mitrishinti, but this is Mitri. Shinsi, hmm. Is that the correct Mitri Shinsi? Because one letter is different. Let's look at the road orientation. We're kind of facing north here. And it does curve round as well, so I think this is it. This is that bend. 
this is that bend. I think the spelling is just uh, um, wrong or something. Anyway, let's see. Let's go back to the start then. We were up here somewhere. Don't know exactly. Uh, let's see. Um, so we're facing kind of a northwest to southeast bend. It's just about picking the right bend, I guess. Um, let's see. And it curves round to the south quite sharply. Um, curves around to the south like this, but but this is a very it should be a very straight. Maybe we are on this, and then it bends around. I don't know. Um, let's see. Maybe we're on this uh, bend here. I'm gonna try that. I think. Um, so that goes. Hmm. That doesn't seem right. Maybe we, how far did we travel? We could be up here somewhere as well. Four nine eight five. Okay. Um. Oh, we were close. Okay, we are just there. Yeah, I'm not. This is what I. This is what I struggle with finding bends and stuff. Um, I haven't had too much practice with this, um, but we got pretty close, 1.8 kilometers off, so that's good. That is very good. Uh, it looks like Maggiron hasn't played. I think the uh, seeds have only just been posted uh, an hour or so ago, so probably um, not many players have played yet. Um, on to the next round, let's see. Round two, okay. Uh see, we are driving on the left, so we should be in the UK or Ireland, yellow plate, so I, the UK, sorry. Um, which is good for me, because if I spot a place name, uh, this is my home country, so I'm familiar with a lot of uh, place names in the UK. Uh, let's see, um, car free meal sounds maybe Welsh, although that's not... Bilingual, so maybe we're more in Scotland. It could also be Scottish. Car free meal. Yeah, actually, it does sound Scottish, doesn't it? Um, we have uh, Edinburgh and Jedburgh. Okay, Edinburgh's here. Jedburgh's familiar. Where's Jedburgh? I think it's somewhere down here. Jedburgh. Jedburgh is here. Okay. Um, so Jedburgh is here. The A68. So we're on a road going up to the A68. Um, to the north. Can we look for, for sneaky car free mills or whatever it was called? If we zoom in, maybe. Um, I don't think we can. Car free mill. I can't see a car free mill. Okay, let's go closer to the bridge. Uh, let's go up here a bit. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, okay, this might help it. Hill House and Tollish Hill. Can I find these places? Hill House and Tollish Hill. I feel like we might be closer to Jedburgh than to Edinburgh because of the, the uh, because it's a small town. Um, but I can't find these place names. Hill House and Tollish Hill. Carfrey Mill. Um, hmm, maybe we're closer to Edinburgh, but I can't see anything really here. I thought I'd be able to spot spot these places now. Gosh, this is going to drive me crazy. <laughs> this is why I, I don't play moving games. Uh, I don't know what to do. I, I don't have good strategy here. <laughs> Let's go on to the roundabout. Um... Right, Edinburgh A68, okay, what else do we have? Kelso is 22. Kelso is here, yeah. Um, I can't find these places. We've got Green Law 15 and then Duns. Duns is familiar. Um, Green Law 15. I don't know. Okay, let's see. <laughs> 17 kilometers. We were further up. Okay, car frame mill. Oh, you have to zoom in. Super close, I guess, to see it. That's why I couldn't find it. Could we see Millhouse or... T 
Oh, shield. Yeah, I still can't see them. I probably wasted quite a bit of time looking for those places. Um, but still not too bad. Not too bad. 4,866. Okay, next round. Let's see. Round three. Um, right. Uh, yeah, I think this is the Po Valley in Italy. Um, let's see. Uh, let's go, let's try and get to a main road, um, maybe this way, I'm just going, kind of picking random paths at the moment, but I think this is a Po Valley, which is a flat, flat kind of area of northern Italy, uh, oh, that's not good, it's dead end, that's a waste of time, <laughs> um, yeah, let's go this way then, not good. See. Hopefully we'll find a main road eventually. This is a main road. Now let's find a useful sign, see which which town we're in. Uh, we've got two minutes left on the clock. I feel like um moving is so much more effort. <laughs> um it really is a lot of effort. Uh right. Uh let's see. Let's see, let's see, uh, yeah, okay, I don't think that's going to be a town name, uh, do you have a town name here? Uh, right, uh, Prato, sounds familiar, Prato, is that a Prato? Prato, let's see, uh, Pavia, it sounds like a place I've heard of, but I might be confusing it with something. Is it further south, even? Prato. We've got only one minute on the clock, so this is... Not good, we can't find it. Maybe it's not a place. Maybe we're not in the Po Valley. We've got mountains to our... South. Pavia, Parma... Don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh... Let's try and find, what about on this billboard here, can we find a city name? Uh, yeah, Matteo. Or a, on the spin. This is used clothes. Uh, oh, I'm not going to get a city name, am I? I've got lots of languages there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know where we are. And we've got 10 seconds left on the timer. Um, Prato. Let's have another quick look. Can we see it? Oh, Prato. No. <laughs> we did it. We did it just about. Oh my goodness. I knew I'd recognised Prato. Wow. Oh my goodness, I thought it was south, a bit south of the mountains. It wasn't quite Po Valley. It's near Florence. I knew, I knew that was a sizable town. I was just looking too far north for it. <laughs> it felt so, I did see, start to see mountains uh, eventually, but it felt so flat at the start of that round. <laughs> um, That was lucky. <laughs> And we got quite a plonk as well, wow. 494 meters, that's insane, that was luck. That was luck, we did a last minute plonk and absolutely killed it. Can't believe it, what a plonk that was. Last second, I didn't even think that gets us going to register. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I'm astonished. Um... Okay. Okay, moving on to the next round. We got lucky there. We didn't deserve that. <laughs> anyway, uh, what do we have here? Um, is this a Balkan round again? It feels quite Balkan. Uh, can't see that plate. Uh, let's see the bollards. I don't know about those bollards. Anyway, let's keep going. I'm thinking like Croatia. Uh, 
Dubrovko, uh, okay. Cooking here. We've definitely got South Slavic language here. And these bollards might be uh, Montenegrin, Serbian. I don't think Croatian. Uh, we've got Syria. Yeah, this is either Serbian or Macedonian language. Uh, with that uh, L. Special L. Uh, so let's find some uh, signs. Signage. Uh, Belgrade. Okay, so it might be near Belgrade here. Uh, we have a bus. Um, I don't think we're going to get a town name. Bambus, I don't think that's helpful. So let's keep going. So it might be near just near Belgrade here. It feels like it could be. Um, it's still... Oh, this is... This road's going forever, isn't it? Can we find a sign? I mean... Yeah, uh, we're in a village, but let's see, a... okay, can't find anything useful here, let's keep going. Uh, right. Uh, still no village signs or something, uh, let's see. Oh, this is, uh... Okay. Well, it's in Latin. We've got a lot of Latin, so it should be in Serbia. The mix of Latin and Cyrillic. Um, but, oh, I'm looking for a town name. Uh, is it Splanica? just means station, I think. Are we going to get anything? Uh, Vashi. Uh, Zelen, okay, that doesn't help me. 22 seconds, this isn't good. This isn't good. But I think we're near Belgrade, maybe. Um, I just haven't found anything that I recognise, really. Um, no. Around here, maybe. Let's see, 80, okay, 18 kilometers isn't a disaster. We were a little bit outside Belgrade, which 100% makes sense here. So, um, good, not bad, not bad. Um, could have been better, but I didn't see any Barich or any um, Umka, so um, not too much we could have done about that, really. Uh, on to the next round, let's see. Round five. Um, now, uh, I think this is Belgium, maybe, or Denmark. Let's see, uh, they, so we're in Denmark. This might be near Aarhus, because it's quite hilly. We've got a town called Viring. So have a quick look near Aarhus. Soring. I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but just in case we happen to spot a Viring. Got lots of ings. Vising, um... But it's probably better to find a bigger town. Um, so let's keep going. We'll try and remember Viring in case we need it um, in the future. Uh, right. We're not necessarily near Aarhus though as well, so... Um, Moske and Amethede. Okay, try and remember those as well. Train's going to go to a main road down here. Mm, that doesn't look promising. Uh, let's go somewhere else. Oh, can we go down here? No. Okay, let's go towards Amelheda. So we've got Muske and Amelheda. Viring. We're leaving Viring. Uh, this is so hilly. Viring, Moske, Amelhead. I wonder if I should look for these places, but we've got a road number. Oh, we've got a 16. Let's look for the 16. Oh, here's a 16. We're right near it. Okay. Um, now we can look for some of these. We've got Langestrup or something. Uh, duh, duh, duh. This might be a long road, though. Oh, Viring. Viring is here. 
right here. Okay, time to start. Uh, we are. Which way did we go? I can't remember. We went south, so we're probably a little bit north of Viring. Uh, maybe we're. So uh, not quite a straight north-south road. So maybe we're just here. Maybe we are just here. Do we find Viring Mark if we go south? Let's see. Let's go south. Um, oh, we've got a turn off here. Ebis Huive. Yep, I think we're on Ebis Huive. And that's an intersection, so we might be quite close to this. Do we have buildings here on our east? Yeah, we do. So we're between the buildings and Viring Mark, aren't we? Alright, uh, let's see. Somewhere here, maybe. Let's go. Okay. 5k. Nice way to end. Only 2 meters. Perfect. Cool. Okay, so. Um, I think we did alright. I think we did alright. Um, Maguron is a very strong player playing for NMK, so um, wouldn't surprise me if he ends up still beating me with like a, a almost perfect score or something, but um, we'll see, we'll see, because we have 24,701, so as long as Maguron gets less than 24801, we draw, and... If he messes up like one round majorly, then we probably won the game. So, you know, we're in for a chance. Um, I feel like this one could have been better. Um, I think I didn't have a very good strategy here. Uh, Italy, we just got lucky. <laughs> we didn't really have a good strategy for that either. Um, uh, North Macedonia, we recognise Meta, the blurry dots that you see on the on that road each east of Kochani, the blurry back, black dots, it's very specific to this one region, uh, which I learned from Twitch, uh, yeah, Belgrade was a lucky plonk, but we did see a sign that said bit Belgrade, and that was our, our biggest clue, so, yeah, yeah, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed the game, something a little bit different, and it's very interesting to, uh, play and to record a video on a, uh, very on a very very different style of geoguessor to how i normally play so yeah next we're probably playing against in the basement i think netherlands is get is next and then ukraine is the last game um yeah i know that because i know austria just beat ukraine in the football so uh yeah cool have a good rest of your day i'll see you in the next video